Okay, Dr. Sabrina Kay is an entrepreneur who has been involved in fashion, education, and business. She's founder, chairman, and CEO of Fremont College, and she founded the California Design College, now named the Art Institute of California, Hollywood. It is the first institution to teach computer fashion design. We all know that Sabrina is a rock star, businesswoman, and a true pioneer. Tonight, I would like to emphasize her role as a teacher and an educator. Through the colleges that she has founded and then very successfully led, Sabrina has spent most of her life offering people opportunities to improve their lives and achieve the American dream. Her commitment to education and training makes her all the more deserving of this award. We celebrate her dedication to the community, her remarkable generosity, and her humanitarian spirit. She leads by example, and her generosity inspires so many others to give. And on a very personal level, I can always count on Sabrina's kindness, big heart, and very sound and candid advice. So I'd like to ask Sabrina to come up to the stage. And I'm deeply honored to present International Medical Corps Humanitarian Award to our very dear and special friend, Dr. Sabrina Kay. Growing up in Korea as a child, um, I thought America was really the mighty power of this entire world. My family immigrated with an American dream when I was in college, and I've experienced how amazing this country truly is. Opportunity, compassion, education that America freely shares with the rest of the world really makes America the mighty power and the leader of ideology and freedom. Uh, there are a lot of people here tonight that I'd like to personally thank from my parents to my mentors, Ambassador Frank Baxter and Kathy. Um, I think there's also a chapter event here from Young Presidents Organization, Bel Air chapter, and um, a WPO. I cannot thank you enough for all of your generosity uh, from two of the busiest people in the world, uh, Harris Miller and, and Bill Clohan flew in from Washington DC and all of the uh, private sector college presidents are here um, to personal friends and uh, Korean American community who really didn't know what IMC was. We're all here to celebrate the 25 years of the great work. But if you really didn't know a lot about um, International Medical Corps, I hope you really caught a glimpse of this organization today and what they do. Nancy and I have been really good friends for a long time, but um, most of the time she seems very normal. But uh, when she goes to work, she and when she talks about her work, she is absolutely extraordinary. Um, when we go to our offices, we go to office and we complain about our traffic. She goes to her office in Congo, Sudan, and Haiti. When most of us work um, and look for travel places to have fun activities and good weather, International Medical Corps doctors, staff, and Nancy look for tsunamis, earthquakes, and bullets. It is really, I call her modern day Mother Teresa, and she always says that I look better than Mother Teresa, and I, I believe she does, um, but you know, she, she has really the essence of the heart and compassion of that woman, and Bob Simon for starting this wonderful organization, and what you have completed in this world is, is just, we cannot thank you enough. Um, I hope that you realize today International Medical Corps is just not a disaster relief organization, but it is also an organization of education and really a holistic approach and solution to disaster response. Because the key difference about IMC is their education and on-ground infrastructure that prepares 
a disaster when it really happens. I know my speech is probably longer than you want to hear, but IMC really continuously trained doctors and staff so that they are ready to respond. When the 7.0 earthquake happened, they were the first ones there. Before Red Cross, even before Anderson Cooper, IMC was the first organization who was there. So please know that every dollar you donated tonight will return 30 times on your investment with medicine, supplies, and grants. And these medicine, supplies, and grants become knowledge and skills so that many people around the world can move forward and rebuild their lives. Because of your contribution, International Medical Corps can really do their job and transform communities from disease to health and disaster to hope and from contemporary to sustainability. So we're the lucky Americans who are able to share our privilege with the rest of the world and you are really the best ambassadors of this mighty country. So thank you very much for being able to share this wonderful organization and celebration tonight.